Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this. Another brand new day. Yes, indeed. Boy, I've got a lot of things, so am I going to be able to get through them all? I don't know. First off, the Shelton, Washington weather, plague, rat, and spider report, which leads into another thing as soon as I'm done with the spider report. But the weather, oh my god, super hot last night. Had the fan on me, had the sheet on me, and I still was too warm. Oy vey. September 2nd, and uh, it was too hot going walkies. <sighs> Eight years ago, on September 1st, it used to get cold. Now, it gets cold around November. World is on fire. <clears throat> Plague Rat Report. Well, the local Safeway, they've been working on the parking lot, and so they've had to really restrict how you get in through the doors, which is special because everyone hanging out around the outside of the store, of course, does not wear a mask. And the people inside the stores, before they even get out, they're tearing their masks off, so you have to walk past that. <sighs> Yay. And for the spider report. Now, I do not know if it is the same garden spiders over there. In fact, I see what looked like the smaller one before. It was just hiding behind some paper with a nest. It has made a new web over there. What looked like the original garden spider that I moved from over there, it looks like her, but it may not be. I mean, it, she may have traveled on. It could be just another one. It's a slightly different color, but spiders molt. So... Uh, hard to say so there's spider friends down here I mean up here and now for the story for downstairs the little downstairs spider that's about this big she's still down there and that's cool I really enjoy that now what I wanted to talk about this ties into something else as well I've mentioned this before I have a fat panda it's a vape pen thing. It's really it's just a battery. You charge it up with the USB thing and it's got a button that turns it on. And these things here, because Washington State is a legal recreational and medicinal state, you can just buy <coughs> cannabis concentrate extract in a cartridge and then you just screw it on and then you press the button inhale and then you exhale what what you know the vapor that's left so that's not a bad thing it's really easy it's simple it's not smoking so i was downstairs in the bathroom this morning and i exhaled some vapor at the at the garden spider the little tiny spider down in the bathroom and I actually felt bad about that afterward. And the reason I felt bad about that afterward is we know that various substances affect even things like spiders and insects because they have, I've watched the videos of it, you know, the extracts that they've put online. I've seen the pictures where spiders that are on various, you know, like meth or cocaine or whatever, they don't they don't work right their webs aren't right they don't know how to think right for a time even spiders and some insects have neural pathways that can be exploited by these substances and they either have an endocannabinoid system or it's able to affect them in some fashion exploiting a neural pathway because spiders on THC do not make normal webs and I actually felt bad afterward exhaling that up at the spider and now spiders and other small critters like that don't have lungs like we do some of them have like book lungs which are weird and I don't understand fully and most of them just have like spiracles which is just little holes in their bodies and the holes run through them and then the air that's just drifting the little molecules bounce into the holes and then straight to the cells so they don't have lungs and they don't breathe like we do but if you still fill their air with THC molecules the THC molecules bounce inside hit the cells and then they get messed up now the reason that I don't 
I felt bad about that and don't like doing that now and feel like I'm not going to do it in the future is, oddly, it's consent. I'm big on informed consent for people. And in fact, you need and for a lot of things, you don't just want consent. You want an enthusiastic informed consent. Because no matter what you're doing, is it more fun to go with someone who's just, all right, all right, all right, we'll do it, we'll do it. Or is it fun to do it with someone who just goes, oh, yeah. So enthusiastic informed consent I think is very important. Spiders can't consent. So, weirdly as it is, I feel bad that I stripped away that spider's right of choice. Which ties into, I also felt bad once, a couple years back, like five years back when I was first in getting into the smoking of cannabis. One of my hamsters, a half-burned chunk of cannabis, had fallen while I was cleaning out my pipe into the hamster cage. And the little fella ate it. Because we found half of the, re the chewed up remains down inside there. And oh, I felt so bad for the poor little guy because it was drooling and squeaking as it leaned up against something. It had no idea what was happening. It just knew it felt wrong and it didn't understand and it was scared. Oh, I felt horrible for the poor little guy. So yeah, I, I like informed, enthusiastic consent, but even when you take away the enthused part, spiders and stuff, they don't have any ability to consent. But while they may not be sentient like mammals with a sense of I, they're still alive. They're not just nothing. And, like I said, there's a lot down here, so I want to move quick. I did get, number one first, a postcard. They did not write down address or name or anything, so it's a person from England, Britain, sent this along very very cool thank you so very very much people are always asking do you still like postcards and it's like well yeah that's why i, I say in my videos you know B -b please send me a postcard <laughs> only because they're they're the only the cheapest thing i know of that's physical that you can send in the mail that's all and then there was a major package that showed up and the, I, there's no real doxing that can be done, but this person's name is Allie, Ailey, I am not sure, but they enjoy my videos, and I think they're, as they say, a Steam friend, and follow me on Twitter and YouTube, so very, very cool. They were down in the area that had the two hurricanes in the United States coming in, so I certainly hope that everything worked out well and you're A-OK. -okay hokey smokes but what was sent was a couple things this was twenty dollars just to send it and i am not sure how much it costs on its own this is a huge graphic novel now I do not know yet because I've been wanting to save this to show off I just got it last night so I haven't even really looked through it yet I do not know if it is a fictionalized account of real events or if it is just fiction i will find out when i take a look and read it thank you so very very much and then one thing i thought we'd also open because in that package came a godzilla figure all bag clip i don't know what a bag clip is so uh it's a collect them all thing you don't know what you're going to get in the package so let's figure out how we can open it it does not have a, a nick edge. And of course it's four plus, but I'm, hopefully that's gonna be okay. I think it's like a Mylar bag that hopefully is not, hopefully I didn't get anything inside. Okay, no, in fact, Ah, 
Okay. Okay, they're kind of big and flashy looking here, but this is the 1984 Godzilla on the end there. Okay, so bag clip. It's one of those things that you like hook on. I guess if it, you've got like a backpack or whatever, you just hook it onto your backpack and then it's hanging there as you go around. That's really cool. I am a big Godzilla fan. I used to watch all the Godzilla movies on TV when I was a kid. And when I can, which I haven't been able to afford since forever, I haven't been able to watch any of the, the new ones. So, but Which I really want to, but this is really cool. Thank you so very, very much. This is awesome. It's going to have a spot back on the shelves, and that is very, very cool. Thank you so very, very much. Greatly, greatly appreciated. Very awesome. Thumbs up on that. Now, I can't remember if I said this. After recording and rendering and uploading, I've got therapy today. And then immediately after therapy, I have a Veterans Administration phone appointment. I need to bring up my cramping of my legs. Oh my God, even taking two 60% US RDA magnesium tablets yesterday, oh my God, that cramping inner thigh muscle was just hell. So, uh, obviously the cramping is just a symptom of a larger problem. I just don't know what the problem is. Maybe I already mentioned this. I'm very tired. <laughs> Good morning. What else do I have on my list? Because I still have a couple things here. Oh, yeah. This is just a really weird one because I, I think of this stuff all the time. And I was clipping one of my fingernails today. It is really weird to think that my million polymer is keratin. And your fingernails are made out of keratin. Very hard, tough stuff. But your skin is made out of keratin. And boy, it's extremely flexible yet tough. And your hair is made out of keratin. And boy, it's so soft and silky. Well, some people's hair is soft and silky. But it's generally soft, even if somebody's is thicker and coarser. How can keratin... The one substance, the one polymer, the one natural polymer for our for mammals do so much. It's just amazing, and I just thought I'd gush over that for a moment. <laughs> really, really quick, I would imagine, since there's not too many minutes left, but I'm going to talk about some things. Uh, one of them was just Russian Timing asked, if I could live anywhere, where would it be and what is my biggest fear? I'm going to hit the biggest fear right now. I live in the United States where right now, after trying for like 70 years to kill social, well, not set, well, yeah, ever since Franklin Delano Roosevelt and all those, I can't even remember who started it now, but Social Security. Uh, now that the Trump administration has stopped payroll taxes, that has defunded Social Security entirely. I cannot work. I rely on the social safety net in the United States. Take that away, I'm going to die on the streets. What am I afraid of right now? Dying on the street. Because if I lose my home, because I lose disability, because Social Security is gone, I have nowhere to live. And I can't plug a sleep apnea machine into a sidewalk. And I stop breathing when I sleep. So I'm afraid right now that I'm going to die in the next couple of years because Social Security will go away. This is bad. Where would I live? To be honest, I would leave the United States if I could right now. I mean, it's terrifying. And bad. But I don't know where I could go. I, I would like to go someplace with nice socialized medicine, but on the other hand, I also need a place where cannabis is completely legal as well. And there are so many places, especially like in the European Union, where, I mean, I'd love to go to Germany. I'd love to live in Britain. I mean, there's a ton of countries. I'd love to, I mean, I don't know if I could live in Brazil because of there's like it's the you know the Bolsonaro's not a good guy so 
I mean, and, and over in Britain, I mean, good old Boris Johnson. So, I mean, it's like there's Trump and Trump light everywhere. So thumbs up. But I need a place where cannabis would be legal. I mean, there's Canada. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, I love... I quote unquote love my country and that I was born here and so I have that innate built in cultural bias toward my country because they drill the propaganda into your head from the moment that you're born. So I don't know. Thumbs up for that. And I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab but I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm just thanking you for having left a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent. You took the time. You expended the calories. Thank you so very much. If I mispronounce a username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker and even though I count an American Sign Language on the fingers of this hand with my depression, fibro, ADHD, grief, and more, I'm sometimes lucky I can even remember what my name is. I was constantly forgetting the name of my children while talking to them. But that's kind of a, a parent thing. <laughs> and it's true, too. Then we have Master Face Blaster. Thumbs up and thank you. Rob Rodriguez. Greatly appreciated. Mora. Thumbs up. We had Fox Plays. Greatly appreciated. Potassium. Thumbs up. Armando Nava. Thank you. Ivan Lopez, greatly appreciated. Jay Cub, thank you very much. Then we have, a, I don't know how to pronounce it. It looks like it's, a, like, I can't even remember the name of it. Katakana, it's it, Japanese. Thank you very, very much. Panda Wichaksono, I'm nowhere close, but thank you. Nazareth Myers, thumbs up. Cackle, greatly appreciated. Spider Monkey 915, thank you very much. Lord of Sadness, while I like the name, it is also sad, but thank you very much. Yannick, thank you very, very much. Uh, Katakana or Kanji, and then Rise, thumbs up and thank you. Kathy Kitzkat, good to see you in the comments. LV underscore Christian underscore 100, thank you very much. Ari Kapastaran, good to see you in the comments. Thumbs up and thank you. We have Angel Carranza, thumbs up. Edison Edison, thank you very, very much. Thomas Met, M-I-D-T-V-E-D-T, -E thumbs up and thank you very much. We have Tommy Copeland, thumbs up and good to see you in the comments. We have Isabella Everett, thumbs up. And last but not least, Snow King with a one instead of an I. Thumbs up and thank you so very, very much. Each and every one of you move one of my windows here. You get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people. Thank you so very, very much. It is appreciated to no end. If you could check out my various links down below, I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. I really have to work to keep this arm stretched out like this. It's hard and it's shaky. <sighs> Yay. Don't sever your radial nerve. Really, it's... I'm. Oh. It's a pain and a half trying to deal with it afterward. Oi. If you'd like to help me out without sending money to one of those two places, I have a PayPal link down below. And if you'd like to help me out without sending money at all, I have an Amazon wish list link as well with things like cat food, hamster food, hamster bedding. If you could check it out, that would be very, very cool. Now, do not feel obligated. I do not feel entitled. And if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very much. Oh, the wrist. Thumbs up for that and thank you. That was the lie. And if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be very, very cool. Greatly appreciated. I would understand if you did not wish to, but if you are down with it, I will do my best to keep you entertained from now until, well, the day I kick off. Hopefully, hopefully, more than just a, a year or two. Thumbs up for that. Well, as stated, I've got my video to edit and render for this afternoon. I've got this video you've been watching. Immediately at 9 o'clock, I have therapy. And then immediately after that, I have a VA phone appointment. So thumbs up. <laughs> uh, good to stay busy.
So, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend, and that is a very good thing. Definitely a thumbs up. So practice your social distancing. Please wear a mask. Practice self-care. Oh, these are hard times. And of course, of course, Black Lives Matter. And justice for everyone that the jack-booted, brown-shirted thugs keep brutalizing and murdering in the streets.